Hello, welcome to Dendrill's Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today, for Christmas month, 2021, it's Christmas Eve currently, um, we're going to be reviewing Rare Exports, a uh, Christmas tale from t- 2010, and while we're doing that, we're going to be playing games off the SNES Classic, right? And, um, so I was playing, uh, I'm just going to give a little update. I was, for my next RPG review, I was supposed to review Wild Arms 3, <laughs> but I rage quit, and, uh, I rage quit in the middle of a dungeon, right? Lost, like, an hour and a half of progress, maybe two hours, I don't know. So I decided to screw it, we're going to play a different game, right, so, uh, let me know what, I'm going to ask you guys to vote, and the choices are Chrono Cross, Arc de la 3, right, uh, Arc de la 3, or, um, Xenogears, I'm voting for Chrono Cross, but let me know what you guys think, right? Yeah, so this this movie... So what game are we going to pick? So this movie is directed by Jamari Hollander. It's based off... It, well, this movie is a Finnish movie, and it was based off short films, right? It stars Omni Tomila as PRT uh, Kondio, uh, Pierre Christian Elphison as Rano, and uh, Rano Juvon uh, as Piparian, right? And it's basically a movie. Well, it's it's based off a short about in Finland. Which I think that's where Lapland is. I'm not percent sure. Which if people don't know what Lapland is. Lapland. Apparently in Europe. Instead of Santa Claus being from the North Pole. He's from Lapland. <laughs> I heard that before. And I think this film takes place in Lapland. I'm not percent sure. So. Um, in a, This film is based off a short film. Based off the, this idea, what if Santa Claus, uh, basically, uh, people capture Father Christmases and send them, um, to different, to different, um, uh, countries around the world, right? Exporting Father Christmases, right? Um, what, what game are we gonna do? Let's do uh, Star Fox, <laughs> right? And um, yeah, so like that's the so this movie is basically like the origin story of that, right? So it's it's about these. Um, so the movie starts off on the first day of December. Um, th- there's this there's this guy, old guy, who's paying this like. Uh, drilling crew to drill into this mountain, right, to excavate something, right, and he tells his, uh, and, like, this is the film, the film mostly is people speaking Finnish, but there, uh, there's some English scenes, right, there's some English scenes, right, uh, there's some English scenes, and, like, you know, the guy's telling his, um, Foreman, hey, make sure the peop- that the men don't, uh, uh, gives them, like, safety instructions, make sure the, the men don't swear, right, and smoke or whatever, right, and, like, the guy's like, is this a joke? <laughs> oh, fuck me, the, the men will laugh their ass off, right, and, like, the guy's like, uh, don't, don't swear, it's Christmas time, right, and, like, you know, uh, he gives, he goes outside, gives a speech, right, and, like, two kids with hunting rifles, uh, well, no, just one kid with, the, with a hunting rifle, Yuso and Pitari, who are two kids from the village, right, who come from this poor hunting village, right, 
who make who uh, once a year uh, hunt reindeer, and that's what they um, eat to survive. And then they also um, their 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 hunter fathers also like you know uh, sell like you know um, other stuff from the. <laughs> I, I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't know what the, what's going on. Okay, that's the... Are those the bad guys? Okay. This is worse than Tron. Oh, my God. <laughs> I gotta remember Super Ten Nintendo. This is like... This is cutting-edge Super Nintendo graphics right here, boys. <laughs> right. Um, so, like, what happens... Um, tw uh... Like the Christmas Eve uh, comes, and uh, Pietari's uh, father, um, uh, Pietari's father um, wakes him up. They go, they go to this gathering where they're going to. Uh, all the hunters are going to um, trap reindeer, right? An electrified fence, and what happens? Only two reindeer show up. And they go to look for the other reindeer. All the reindeer are killed. <laughs> All the reindeer are, are are killed, right? And there's like they the the hunters find the hole in the fence, and they think, oh, that the kids made, it. and they think, oh, Russian wolves came through the fence and killed all the reindeer, right? <laughs> so like, yeah. Um, yeah, so, like, P.R. Thierry knows that, uh, there was a, uh, they overheard the speech, and they know, like, Santa Claus lives, Santa Claus is buried in the mountain, right? <laughs> That's what the, the crew is trying to, like, you know, like, uh, uh, uncover, right? And, uh, nobody believes this but P.R. Thierry, right? And what ends up happening is weird shit starts to go ha uh, on on like Christmas Day um, everybody's like uh, ovens and radio radiators are stolen um, they went uh, the hunters went to confront the, uh, the 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 drilling crew to to ask for uh, reimbursement after they lost uh, fuck this game after they lost all the reindeer, right, and nobody was around, right? Let's play a little bit of Final Fantasy VI, <laughs> right? And like, um, uh, kids start go, kids start to go missing one by one, including PRT's friend Juso. So like, PRT knows that oh, okay, Father Christmas, because he reads up on Father Christmas, right? Or Santa Claus and knows okay Santa Claus and the in this movie Santa Claus is kind of a lot like Krampus where he punishes the bad kids right this is actually Final Fantasy 6 but it was called Final Fantasy uh, 3 in the West for people who don't know um, yeah so like well, what happens is that um, beca because because the, there's like no um, because there there's no reindeer the there's no reindeer um, they're going to starve <laughs> our our villagers uh, our hunters are going to starve right so like uh, uh, Pierre Thierry has Christmas like dinner with his dad and uh, his mom is they never said what happened with his mom. You just assume, like, she died or something. And, like, all they have is gingerbread cookies, which is what they eat throughout the throughout the film. So what, what happens is that, basically, uh, because of the wolves, uh, Rano, which is P.R. Thierry's dad, makes this illegal wolf uh, trap pit, which is basically, like, state... He makes this pit with, state, with, with sharpened stakes and puts, like, you know, uh, a, a pig's head over it, and what ends up happening is one of the f one of the elves of Santa Claus 
who looks like a naked old man, right, t uh, falls for the falls for the uh, trap and gets staked. He thinks he killed an old man. He calls his friends over. He his friends over. They're trying to figure out okay what to do with um, the old man's corpse. Turns out he's still alive. And he was where he had a radio with him, right? Which he stole off one of the drillers from the mountain. They get a call from they get a call from the uh, the old rich guy who set up the who set up the um, the mine the drilling excavation, and they go to have this trade off with the. With the uh, old guy for for they want money to cover up the cover the expenses of all all the reindeer that they lost right so they they're gonna sell the elf not knowing that it was it's not the Santa Claus it's an elf right and that's where the movie kind of turns into a horror film where like where like um what happens is the the elves show up, which are all all old naked men. Kill, they kill, they kill, they they kill, they kill the old guy. Our characters have a shootout because they're all hunters, man. And like earlier in the movie, uh, Ronald gives Piatri a, a gun, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so they have a shootout, and they go inside this like um, warehouse. They find they find uh, a giant Santa Claus with horns who looks like kind of like Krampus, right? Uh, frozen in ice, which is what they excavated, right? The and like all the radiators and ovens that were stolen from the village is hooked up to it, trying to defrost it. And they find like all the kids that were mi that went missing in like potato sacks, right? And um, they they board they board up the warehouse. They're surrounded, and Piatri has this idea, right, to use the kids as bait to lure to lure the the father the you know the elves into the reindeer uh, trap reindeer electric fence so they can pen them up. And while they're doing that, um, Rano and uh, one of the and jo, uh, Juso's um, uh, dad blow up the uh, Krampus while he's stuck in ice, and then the movie ends with the exports, rare, rare exports company, where they they dress up the elves as Father Christmases. They train them and send them off to different countries, right? And uh, you know the village is saved. So my problem with this movie. <laughs> Is I, I thought the story it had a good story, right? And it had some good tension, right? And I I kind of liked the characters. My problem with the movie, which is it's only an hour and twenty something minutes long, is that not a lot of not a lot happens in the movie, right? Oh, I finally have control. Like, not a lot happens in the movie, right? And there, there's no... Like, a lot of the stuff, they don't really show, right? You, you just learn about later. So, like, all the kids getting, getting kidnapped by the, by the elves, they don't show that. Um, all the uh, drillers getting killed by the Father Christmases, they don't show that. Uh... They don't, yeah, they don't show that. Um, you never got to see uh, the Krampus. Well, I mean, you see him while he's blown. Um, you see him in ice, right? Which they kill him before they he gets out of the the ice, right? But uh, yeah, I I don't know. I just thought the movie the movie just did a lot of like telling, not showing. Right, and not a lot of, and the movie's obviously rated 14A or something because they're swearing, and you have old man nudity, <laughs> where you see their like dicks and balls. It's like it's super gross, right? Uh, 
So yeah, but yeah, there's like I think you only see like one person die in the film, right? Yeah, it, it, the movie, it's a thing where, like, I kind of, back in the day, like, a lot of people love this movie. I don't know. I think, I mean, I kind of, this is, like, the first movie where I kind of learned, where I watch, except for, like, uh, Santa's Slay, where this was, like, the, one of the first, like, Christmas horror movies I, I saw with her, Evil Santa Claus. So, like, I kind of, back in the day, I kind of, like, you know, gave the movie, you know, some credit, but now there are lots of movies with evil Santa Claus and Krampus and whatnot, and, uh, the, they're, they're better horror movies than this, right? This, and this is a weird movie, because it's like, you would think it was, with, not, with, uh, any, hardly any deaths and no gore, this is a Christmas horror movie for kids, Right? But they're swearing, and you have old man nudity. So it's like, who the fuck is this movie for? For when you have like no no deaths in the movie, hardly any deaths in the movie, and no gore, but they're swearing and old man nudity. So it's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah. So I I am I I when I'm I cannot really recommend this movie, but it is free to watch on uh, Tubi. So if you're so, if you're a fan of, you know, we, weird foreign movies, I don't know, check this out, but, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't really think it's, I think this movie is a bit overhyped, in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm only, uh, I'll, I'll give it, like, 6 out of 10, because I did, I thought the cinematography was good, and some of the you know, music, and, like, the I like the characters, right, but, like, overall, this is, this movie is not great. All right, that's it, that's it for this review, guys. Peace. Also, make sure to vote, uh, for which, uh, RPG you guys want me to play, uh, review next, which is, the choices are Arc the Lad 3, which is strategy RPG, Xenogears, uh, turn base and Chrono Cross. All right, guys. Peace.